YouTube, hello Twitch, it's more Darkest Dungeon. Uh, last time we we failed, okay? We did the Crimson Court, or we tried to do the Crimson Court. We got up against the alligator boss, and my party couldn't be worse set up to deal with them. Uh, firstly, I had an underlevel character there, the Jester, who was mainly here for stress relief, and in fact, good he did, because everyone's really giga stressed now. Uh, but also, we didn't have any unit that could hit like slots three and five consistently, and the one unit that could do it was our Plague Doctor, who did Blight, and the enemy had big Blight resist, so it was basically the worst case scenario. Uh, we're going to have to come back and do that again at some point, but I wanted to get a few more resources, because we spent quite a lot on that expedition, and we basically got nothing for it other than insanity and some negative quirks. Uh, so this time we are bringing into the, the dungeon Moby, Bugay, Brond, and Courtney on a new Antiquarian to build up a lot of resources. I just have to explore 90% of rooms. Let's see how we do. Now, I was just talking with the Twitch chat. I would normally do something like this on a dark run. Where I basically don't bring many resources. Oh, I don't need two keys. Oh, the Antiquarian, I guess, brings a key with him. Cool. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Because normally on a dark run, I would sack everyone off as well. But we'll play spicier. Let's put it that way. Let's play spicier with it. I'm only going to bring four torches, so I'm going to stay in, like, Twilight instead. Does anyone have a bad food thing? You're fine. You're going to steal my stuff. You're a gambling uh, priest. And you're a glass cannon. And by cannon, I mean, like, a glass water pistol. Perfect. Just what I wanted to hear, but you're all good with food. Let me bring one of these in and one of these in for the ability to deal with certain events. This could give me a lot of food. This could give me remove a quirk, I think. Uh, and yeah, we're going to embark. Now, again, we don't necessarily have to complete the mission. We're more interested in the wealth from it. But as I said, if I'm not sacking people and I'm trying to treat all my people as, you know, humans and not resources, then all the stress they get from failing a mission, I'm going to have to deal with it in the future. The smell of rotting fish is almost so it's a bit of a balancing act. The other thing I'm going to try and do... Oh my god, lots of torches. I'm going to keep the torchlight up at first. To try and get scouting. And then I can get let it go dark as I go into a room where there's like a lot of loot in it, for example. Don't steal it. By the way, what is your deal? Oh, a quest. You got plus 20% damage. Nice! Okay. Sadly, I'm going to have to go down one of these forks as well. Okay. It's the big loot room. Uh, okay, we can't deal with stress is the thing again. However, equally, I'm not great at killing people because I'm kind of running the antiquarian, which is like a, you know, a half unit. So, kill what you can is going to be the name of the game here. The dodges are massive. What can you do, by the way? Sorry, I'm not very familiar with the Antiquarian actually doing something. Yeah, you make people protect you. You can do a very light heal. And you can buff yourself and go backwards with dodge and speed. We might try that, just to make you impossible to hit. And maybe we'll make you like a... Not like a dodge tank, but that type of thing. Where maybe people are trying to hit you, but they just can't hit you. Okay. I think this means I'm going to go on you. To make sure that you die. Then we're looking for a stun if we can have it. We have got a stun option. And we will take that on you. I just increase your dodge. I know, hopefully people try and target you. You're my next on the list of things that I'm going to have to kill now. I 
Accuracy is 95, damage 1, 900. He removes strength, he loads accuracy. Okay. Does this work? No, he still targets this guy. That's fine, though. I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, he's got a pretty good bleed resist. Not surprised by that. His stun resist is only 25, though. Do I go for a Yorp one or I just try and Iron Swan the back unit? Let me try and get the kill. <laughs> what off? Well, actually, you know what? The Vestal might be able to pick it up now. This does do damage, and it raises my torch up, so it's actually logical. Huge minus 10 accuracy. That mattered. Right, just keep trying to bleed this guy. Precision and power. Nice. Let's go for a stun now. Double stun. That removes the protection as well, so we can target this guy at the back. It's all coming up me right now. We don't need the other stun, although that being said... Now they do the same damage, so we should give this to you. Makes him easy to hit as well. I might as well heal for one. Because you have nothing else really to do now, other than lower accuracy. Miss? Nice. Some clutch dodges. Okay, let's try and kill this person. They're the higher damage dealer now. Uh, keep lowering your accuracy. Keep making it easier and easier to hit this guy. Like, look at the, the, the status effects on this guy. He's having the worst day imaginable. As the fiend falls. He's now no longer having a day. We've solved that issue for him. Oh, you missed. Wait, is this kind of cracked? Okay, this guy has no dodge anyway. We might as well try and push a stun on him. He resists. Any more bleeding? He resists. Dodge one last time? Okay, we, we take one hit. Plus disease resists lowest dodge. Does anyone have zero dodge in my party? Probably, right? I wasn't even looking at the number then. 19? Holy shit. Okay. I actually don't think this is worth equipping to anyone then. By the way, this is what you get from the Antiquarian. They're very nice. I can't remember if the Antiquarian open this gives you more stuff as well. Uh, we'll find out. Actually, we won't find out. I think that's the same result as I would have got otherwise. Whatever, big resources. Let me go down this path first. And if we get scouting and there's nothing in the last room, we can turn back immediately. Paid for in blood. Ah. Perfect. I don't need to go that way. And I've only brought one shovel, so... Man, that was kind of nasty for a small floor to have two shovel events on it. Another mariner, another misfortune. Uh, we could be in for a bit of damage here, or we could just keep dodging. I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with this idea. Resisted the bleed, huh? Fair enough. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Right, lower the accuracy on another guy. Say this guy. And then we try and stun the back one. I still not come up with MC Hammer build. They just can't touch this. Holy moly, this squad! They're crazy. 
Uh, keep lowering this guy's accuracy. Sure, why not? Minus 20 to hit. <laughs> okay, let me use you to kill here. Let me gain some torchlight as well. We might as well. Never mind. I mean, they're dead anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant. Let me clear the corpse. It's in the way. I am a little bit weak at hitting three and four again. But I'll do more three, because the, the hell you can hit four. Alright. I think we're going to need to fish for one more miss. Oh, never mind. We might get the kill now. In fact, we're guaranteed the kill. Some food, some holy water. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. And a journal page. Cool. Day six. As we traveled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Raven, one of my companions, passed me a bitter concoction. The most devout of us, Therian, prayed softly for our safety. Superstitious, but well in uh, well intentioned even, I suppose. I am already falling asleep. Ah, he's being uh, drugged, apparently. <laughs> Very nice, new. You want to hear Nunu's joke of the day, ladies and gentlemen? Why are fish so easy to weigh? Because they have their own scales. Da -da -da the light, the Very good. I like it. All right, more scouting. Ooh, another food check. No, don't touch it. Ignore it. We'll deal with that later. I remember what that does. Okay, I'm toying with letting the, it get a little bit dark now to try and increase my loot. We have enough health to survive. Oh, you kleptomaniac. Oh wow, there's no more room battles. Okay. Watch your step. Alright, well this is gonna be a pretty chill mission in the end. So this uh, grouper is dead without me having to do anything. Let's slow the accuracy of this guy now. Oh my god. He will get a kill. And we want the light to go down so I should stop getting... Oh no, this all gains torch. Alright, that convinces me then. I'll get a heal on. Because I want it to get a bit dark again. You die. Ah, there's a heal. Heal for 10, holy moly. It's pretty good. Alright, let's keep debuffing him. Put him on one again. We're just showing off at this point. What can you say? Right, two more damage and you're dead. You might as well drop a heal on. Ah, it gives you resist as well. Of course it does. And driven into the mud. Now, if we get, we let it get super dark, then stuff can respawn as well. Or stuff can just spawn full stop. We could also get a really nasty enemy, which I didn't really mention. Uh, but if you've never seen this game before, I'll leave it as a surprise. Wow, that's a horrible opening. Okay, let's lower this guy's accuracy before he makes a move. Heal 33% max health. 
self. 34% max health, you lose healing skills, you get less healing, you lower your speed. I believe... Also, I can use this. Extan ex exsanguinate. It gives me more max health, but I get healed for less. Lower accuracy as well. You know what? I've not used it yet. Let me have a look at this. Just to make sure it works the way I think it does. Gives you a huge amount of health. And then, yeah, you take less healing. Okay, that's actually kind of bonkers. We did crit on it as well, which made it seem even better. Uh, and now you'll go for a stun. I know we don't want the light, but... Equally, I'd like my people not to die. Wow. They're all hitting now. You get lower accuracy again, please. Very cool. Uh, and you even... Actually, you should heal yourself. Make sure you don't die. This guy's going to lose his debuff on the next round. Further lower the accuracy. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Your health dropped so much there. I know you have like the glass cannon effect by cannon against a glass water pistol. But I didn't quite expect it that much from one little poke. You only have 16 health. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Anyway, he's dead. I don't think I'm missing health, but heal for one. Rare antique. Look at the money on that thing. No, we will be carrying that. Don't worry about it. Uh, eat two foods. And this should be the last room. Cool. All right, let's just go back to the hamlet before I get giga stressed. We will find all manner of great. But well, how much was this worth? 7k. Not bad. Not my best antique run, but. Okay, Burgay's now got Fear of the Unholy. Fantastic. But has increased healing, which is good for this character. Uh, Courtney is tempted to investigate the Dark Arts, which I think means he's going to try and read all the books. Or she are going to try to read all the books. But they also receive more healing in the process, so. Uh, I, I think that Dark Arts one is also like a very, very bad quirk to get. As it like, it catalyzes you getting more and more bad things. A sanguine memory to me. Alright, the town is still a buzz. Reynard has had the, the Arga removed. Okay, cool. Right, my roster's full, but let me have a look at the wagon. There is another Jester. There is another Jester. I can't... I mean, I can't afford to expand the roster. Well, actually, hang on a minute. i got 61 crests. I wouldn't mind one more Jester. Just out of interest. Just out of interest. How many? So I need 25. So I need 18. 54. Yeah, that I can't do. But what about pictures into whatchamacallit? So I can get 9 from here. I think I could do it in a roundabout way, but it's probably not worth. Uh. Okay, I know I said I'm not going to discard people, but this isn't discarding. I've not used this person yet. Uh, Mercier, I'm going to give you Mercier, and I'm going to allow you to go. So see you later. Because I really want a Jester. Another Jester. 
for we have need of sterner Thank you. stock. Wow, 25k, Jester only. Plus 12% death blow resist, minus 25 stress if torch below 26, so you want to be on dark runs. And increase virtue chance below that. That seems really cool. You lose healing, but you get dodge. Increases your move skill chance, but also increases your resist. And on the bounty hunter. We did use a decent amount of moving stuff on the bounty hunter, so... That's not a terrible get. I don't hate that. It might be, like, really, really bad, but... Disrupting the order has been pretty good. Alright, see you, Nimu. Oh, wow, from another country when you said you were moving? I didn't think you meant that far. I went up the road. <laughs> uh, but yeah, good luck with your move. Okay, Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter. It just feels such a big expenditure, but... Pulling people around is kind of... It's kind of like a defensive tool, right? It's like a healing tool. I'm going to try it. Enjoy it, Suarez. Uh, speaking of which as well. Plus healing skills. Increased accuracy, lower stress, increases dodge. I kind of, on Prashuna, wouldn't mind you just having even more healing. To be completely honest with you. Lowers your dodge chance. I mean, that's that's probably better on a unit anyway that's not intending to dodge, like Barassa. Let me throw that there. More Blight Resist lowers dodge seems pretty garbage, except on a unit that maybe has no dodge to begin with, like you. Well, <laughs> never mind. Nah, that's fine. That's probably better, even. Increase accuracy, lower health on a Plague Doctor. And what are you? Highwayman. Or oh, Dismas. You take this. Plus accuracy, plus crit. It increases your stress, but also massively increases your virtue chance. This seems really, really strong. And lowers your stun resist, but means you do more damage. That seems really good to me. Now, bleed skill chance would be pretty good on the the guy we just brought. A, a bugay. So, you take this. Also, you should have been wearing this, probably. Now, we might refine this, but for now, while I'm still trying to, like, you know, get to grips with the game again, if it says flagellant only, I'm probably just going to put it on a flagellant. Even if it's not that good, so apologies if it's not that good. Renault is holding the reduced stress... Yeah, reduce stress, reduce speed, and increase stun chance. I think that is okay. Where's my other Crusader? Revier, you can get 10 max health then instead as a reward. Your dodge is 5, so it's not quite 0. Where is my one remaining abomination? Folio. What are you holding? Increase stun, increase blight. Increase damage, increase speed, lowers health. Just keep throwing locks on this guy. Okay, we do have an antiquarian thing as well. I should have put it on my antiquarian. My bad. Uh, where are you? There's Courtney. There you go. Your dodge is 20, which is really good. And then we finally got a musketeer thing that I can't equip. And a plague doctor thing. Where's Dreo? What is this giving me? Accuracy and health. Uh, accuracy and losing health, sorry. I don't think that is super important. Unless you're doing one that does more damage. But mine's not really doing that much damage. They're more just putting a bit of plagues on here and there. Alright, well, I, I've spunked off most of my money again. But I think we're going to be doing a pretty chill run again. Reno? We'll only pray for stress relief. Right. Let me get you cleansed of your inner demons. And I, I tell you what. I think you're going to go back to back. Where are we looking? The boss. No. <laughs> no thanks. Gentle Tide Event. It's on a medium mission. 
bless me. We do get an Arbalist thing, and we do have an Arbalist. What else have we got on offer? I'm not doing the Crimson Court. We can't do that mission. More Highwayman stuff. Crusader. Damage melee skills, but you lose healing. I think that is actually pretty okay. I have to do 100% of rune battles, but it's worth quite a lot of money. Okay. Does anyone have a, a big fear of the ruins? Just by any chance? Yes. Burgay has a big issue with the ruins. Hmm. So actually, it might be better to not bring Burgay then. But I could bring Dismas instead. And I think you would kind of... You would kind of fill in the role. Right, let me just check. You're fine in the ruins. And you don't like the Warrens. Okay. Uh, YouTube, we're going to do this one straight now. So let's go to here. We're basically doing it just to gain some money. So again, I'm not going to equip my party particularly well. In fact, this time I'm going to give you four torches. I'll give you eight food still so you don't starve. I'll give you one bandage as well. Don't spend it all in one place. A little bit risky, this. I will admit, a little bit risky. And we also have to do 100% of rune battles this time, which is why it's even riskier. The must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble Okay, line. instant scouting is fantastic. Another scouting event would be fantastic as well, so that I know which way I have to go on the, the split. A fortune waiting to be spent. Ah, another journal page. Huel, dear friend, exemplary warrior, a survivor of the King's Wars, and many sorties in these halls, met in an ignoble end. We were weary, Huel and I, as we searched for sanctuary. Weariness, it appears, has a murderous streak. It blinded him to the mechanism that tripped the spikes, which eviscerated him. Have we not read this before? Is it because I'm not bringing them back? I held him as his essence slipped away, another giant fallen in our mad pursuit. I am alone now, weary, but unbowed. I press on. Yeah, we have read that before, I'm pretty certain. Ah, I forgot Bone Lords can't bleed, so that's another good reason to remove the bleeding character. I know this character can also do a little bit of bleeding, but... Uh, they can also do a lot of shooting, so let's do some shooting. Oh, 14 damage right off the rip. That's a good omen. Right, what is your speed? Five. What is your speed? Three. But I don't have one damage with this character. I could really do with you doing, like, a damage. Uh, but in lieu of that, let's make it harder for him to hit me. Because I think he's going to do the most damage. Nice! Okay. Interesting this is plus six on the torch and this is plus five on the torch. All right, also interesting I missed. Could do with a one shot. Lower all the damage, womp womp. All right, I'll, I'll call it quits with the, the, the dodge there. Very nice grape shot here. As long as, you know, the unit doesn't dodge again. Uh, nice crit. Could have done with it on the first attack, but removing the corpse is pretty big for me as well. You might as well heal yourself at this point. Nice crit heal. Holy shit. Okay. Accuracy 90-90. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Another page. I will return with Cuthbert's banner and Bolin's crossbow so as to honour them with a proper burial. I will leave what is left of the thrice damned miser and his trinkets to the swine folk. Perhaps they will build him the memorial he rightly deserves. Okay. All right. Good luck, everyone. 
I do have a key for this. That's good news. Stress person probably needs to be focused. Or people, even. Alright, lower all the damage. Let me lower accuracy on this guy. Nice. Then we'll go for an Iron Swan on the back unit. Another Humongous. Oh, actually, I take Humongous. Hands. Getting the kill is pretty big. The crit actually didn't matter that much. Alright. I'm going to try and keep the, the stressing unit stunned. And we'll try and pick up the kill on the next round. Could go for a double stun here as well. I don't hate the idea of it. We got it. Continue the onslaught. Okay. Destroy them all. Let me do a small heal here. Small heal here. And then we'll go back to kicking their ass. You can bleed. Make sure you miss, or try to make sure you miss. You resisted. Alright. Pretty low percentage that that was going to happen, but it, you know, it happens. Lower this guy's dodge. Sure, make it easy for everyone else to hit. Never mind. Happening twice in a row is very unlucky, and then emitting pretty unlucky as well. As the fiend falls, the faint hope blossoms. All right, keep you. Just in case, I think he's gonna get one more turn. Nice. Okay. He won't get another one, though. I will kill him before that. Their formation really good battle. Maintain the offensive. All right. Key it. Uh, loot. Could have done with a bit more loot there, in my opinion. Don't read the books. Okay. I'd love for there not to be a battle in the bottom. We don't know. Right. Lower accuracy. Shoot. Fantastic. Like, you don't have to worry about stress if you just kill the stress units in one attack. I'm actually going to go on you this time, just to get you another crit. Let's keep the healing up. You're on a bleed cycle anyway, so... <laughs> Could have done with it before, but I'll take it. The de-stressing, very nice. The minus 20, also accuracy, very nice. He still hit. And bled. That feels bad. Uh, eventually, though, they're, they're going to hit a low percentage shot, so well done. That was like an XCOM 25% shot. Uh, you are dead. You might as well heal yourself for one. Oh, remove the bleed, right? No. Remove... I thought it removed blight and bleed. Is it just blight? 
Oh, it gives you resist. Sorry, I'm dumb. I'm thinking of the Plague Doctor, aren't I? Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. You've deserved food. I don't have to go down. And there's only one more battle up. I do have to go through it. A obstacle again. That's kind of unfortunate. All right, get stressed. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. Okay. I've had a good day. Let's not risk it with bad fights in complete clear. darkness. We require only the strength to follow it. That could definitely go wrong. With anyway, name of the game here is just one shot everything. Oh yeah, these have pretty good debuff resists. Oh, they're a misplay for me. Okay, they'll get an attack off. And there wasn't a lot else I could have done really. Ooh. 49 stress now. Okay. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Right, so this is the last room battle. I will check out the curio in a moment. And again, name of the game is Kill Stress Unit. How much is Iron Swan going to be doing? Seven to fourteen. I think I'm gonna make sure it kills. Okay, never mind. What an incredible crit. What an incredible, like, run of good fortune. Let's get you in healing mode. Wow, this party has has done fantastic. I really can't complain. We got a little bit stressed before, but... They've basically done double missions, so I can't really again complain about it. Okay, I could complain a little bit about this now. I massively lowered his accuracy, and I low rolled the damage, but... We should be able to heal him out of it. How much? Two. Let's not mess around. Just heal him. Let him have another attack if he wants. Lower his accuracy or try to. Minus 20 accuracy. I, he's an herbalist, right? That makes sense. That tracks. Okay, this thing, this we're just going to stay. I can't remember. Push on to the task's end. I think you just open this. And then I want to have a look at this other curio. And I may also do the trap disarm. It's fine. Because this is stress release. At relief, even. Nice. Alright, we're done. More bones return to rest. Devil's 8k this time. Very good. Some experience. Moby's level 3. Holy moly. Alright, Dismas is now faithless. That's fine. Uh, but has increased move resist, which is pretty good on Dismas. Or at least how I've got him set up right now. As we don't have move skills. A fresh irritant. Yep, the town still is a buzz. A memory to me. We will deal with it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, there's probably no point in me looking at that anymore. At least for a little bit of time. 
13k. What is on the wagon even? Know the tragic extent of my failings. Interesting. Pretty good if you're trying to one-shot everyone. I mean, I can't afford it, so let's not worry about it too much, but... Alright, here is the next thing we're going to do. Let's sort out our stress on our... Our good guys. You're getting stressed when you're idle. I forgot about that. You'll only meditate. Get in there. You will only flagellate. Get in there. <laughs> uh, Prashuna? Get in the prayer hall. Alright, this is filled now. Oh. I wanted to put someone in the bar, but... How much stress are you on right now, sorry? Exactly. 30. I can live with 30, I think. I could possibly live with 40, but we'll put, throw Cecil in as well. Right, next on the list, sort by level. Moby? Do I want to upgrade any of your skills? I think you've earned it at this point. Let me get Iron Swan leveled up. Increases the accuracy and crit. Very nice. Let me get... Wicked Hack increase accuracy. Let's take that up as well. Oops, a daisy. Dismas? You've earned a pistol shot upgrade. And an open vein upgrade. Brand? I wouldn't mind picking up the the big party heal. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm actually gonna level it as well with the other heal. And then the stun goes to 110. I don't think I need that instantaneously, so let's hold off on that. That's not who I thought it was either. I thought it was Pratuna. Pratuna will give you an equivalent level up, so don't worry about it. Let me just change bronze, though. I think this wasn't that useful. I, I'll put you into this orientation for now. That's fine. And this can be used from 1, 2, 3? Cool. Okay. Back to the guild. Reno. We use this a lot, the stun. So let's take it. And then just the basic attack, increased damage versus holy. I use it a decent amount. It gains a crit modifier and increased damage versus unholy. This I fairly infrequently use, so again we hold off. Whoops. Suarez, I think you've earned some time in here. Increased accuracy. More damage versus humans. I didn't know that was a thing. Take it. A again, if you're more familiar with this game, you'll know which skills like, you have to like go straight to to upgrade them. I don't, so just give me a little bit of time and patience on this one. I think I'm okay with everything else. I keep backing out of here as well, accidentally. Right, this becomes... Same bleed. It lowers the bleed resist. Increased crit. 100% accurate, though. And increased chance to bleed. More heal. But game, I'm actually going to hold on to you for now. I think that's fine. Mew Mew, what does this become? 0 to 15. Hmm. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I keep meaning to sort my man of arms out into some sort of orientation where he's actually uh, useful. So I think there's two forms you can use him in. You can use him as like a 3 or a 4 and he just blocks everything. Or you put him in the front and he's offensive. Uh, I've kind of got it in between the two. I believe one of them is you set up repost, right? And then you guard someone. So let me pick that up. 
first and foremost. Repose does more and marks the target. Let me hold off on that for now. Bolster. Use this per battle one. It lowers their stress, increases the dodge. So this means I have to be in three as well. And this is a stun from three. Don't make me regret this, Barassa. We're down to pretty low money. I can actually sell trinkets as well if I don't want them. Okay, so here's the game plan here. Plus 15% damage while guarding. Buff the target. Let me remove Crush and Bellow and put Rampart and Defender on. This might not be the, like, the, the best orientation for this, but my logic is that I buff someone that who's going to be pretty weak at the front. That's the first thing I do. And then you're fairly tanky, right? You have 0% protection right now. We can make you tanky. Don't worry. We'll do that in the future. Uh, but yeah, we get 15% protection anyway on the buff. Then, on the target that I'm guarding, I give them command, so they do increase damage. No, I I repost next, then I do that. And then we always have Rampart at some point if I need a stun, or I need to push people around. So it's like, it's a support character, and I was complaining that I don't feel like I have too many characters that would go in 3 and 4, so Barassa is now that character. And I think this is fine for Trinket for you. One increases your health, one makes you get less stress and a bit more accurate. We're not really relying on your dodge anyway, are we? Uh, what was your thing, by the way? Dud hitter and won't visit a brothel. Sure. Okay, I think that's enough for the, the skill swapping for now. Because I have, like, no money. Uh, this means I'm going to probably be taking out a very similar party yet again. Do I even take the same party out? Uh, the run after this one, I think we'll go for a boss or an objective of some variety. Or at least we'll do like a longer mission or something to get like a good reward. As most of my A team will be back in action. This mask could do with a little bit of relaxing. Brawn could do with a little bit of reacting. Okay. Let me make a few changes. Brawn, I'm going to drop out. Numi, I'm going to bring back in. Numi, are you okay in three? You're very happy in three. Perfect. So you're just going to replace our healer, but you also do a little bit of extra damage. Uh, it's all good. The B to B to B for Moby? I, I think that's fine. Although... Yeah, you still get experience at three, right? It's four where you, you can't go on these missions. Right? Uh, again, if you never played this game before, it gets to a level point where you won't go... They won't be allowed to go on the green missions. They have to go on the yellow, and eventually they will be, you know... You can't go on the yellows, you have to go on the reds. So there's a reason not to, like, power level a certain group of characters. Or, well, like, all of your characters at the very least, because you can't go on the green missions anymore. Anyway. I need to decide what mission I'm doing first. That's what I should be doing. So this gives me snake oil, which is a stress relief, but flat out pretty good. A cultist increases dodge, but lowest speed. And it's short again. We've already got one of those and medium do 90% of runes. I think we're going to do a short mission again. A cultist for dodge. Or this for just lower stress. The money is similar. Uh, I'm going to do this one just because I haven't got snake oil. I don't think it's particularly, like, fantastic. It's something I could just throw on anyone, though, so... Uh, we will go with this. So I need people that are willing to go to the ruins. We know you're fine. You're not happy versus the unholy. That's actually a little bit of an issue with the ruins, because a lot of the ruins enemies are unholy. Uh, where is my other... My other guy? 
other guy? Don't I have two occultists? Am I losing my mind? Did I let an occultist die? Or does an occultist run away? Oh, Cecil's healing. Okay. And by healing, I mean stress healing. Uh, hmm. I mean, I could put Barassa in, but then I literally have no healing. I, I think I'm just going to go with this and accept that you might get a little bit stressed, Mew Mew. Uh, so yeah, YouTube, next time we're going to do the another short mission for a bit more money with our Antikarian squad. This will probably then lead to a situation where... Do I take Dismas out? Sorry. I'm just a little bit worried about Dismas going over the top. But maybe I should just get more bang for my buck and let him... You know, let him stew a little bit longer. He's on like 50% though, right? 52. Uh, Bleed Boy's not very good here. I could bring me out on a mission as well. I've not done that yet. What's my dodge? 10. Oh, they're no good for me. You know what? Alright, sure. I'll bring myself. And then we'll deal with Dismas some other time in the future. The Glory Seeker's perfect. He's got a name, therefore the squad must be good. Alright, YouTube. So we're going to do this short mission next time. We'll grab the Snake Oil. Then I'll see how I am on money and how I'm on levels. And obviously what other mission is up there. But maybe we'll do one other short mission after that. So we can start the episode afterwards. Where maybe we'll chase the the Crimson Court again. But we'll, we'll just have to like... We'll have to... Uh, work it out we have to weigh it out so to speak because i need money to improve my squad i also need my squad to get to levels and i need the squad to be squads that can hit one two three and four and don't involve blight i can't remember if bleed was good against the crocodile i'll check again but i think bleed was fine so maybe we try and set up a bleeding squad anyway thanks for watching youtube and i'll see you again next time bye